Hello, folks. Welcome back for what may be the final Zero Takedown Ghost walkthrough. I am Grease Scotsman, and this will be the fan-requested police station stealth walkthrough. That's the point. You got the order. You refused and walked away, and then I was forced to do it. You're totally out of your mind. So basically, you if you manage off? to totally piss off Haas, silence, or you don't even do talk to him in the first place. Do that all you like. I'm not listening anymore. You blew your last chance with me. Hey, uh, boss. How badly do you want that neural hub? No. If you're considering multiple homicides to get it, I suggest you back off and look for a less, uh conspicuous way in from outside the building surrounding that hostage situation in Jensen I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues a detective Alexander Jenny what did she want she said she could use some help if you could make your way over to Grand River Road and might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Alrighty, so I'm going to show first the easy way in to complete this mission with Ghost and Smooth Operator. And that is by taking the sewers, getting a little dirty. Head up the ladder, and you'll be able to get into the police station from its backside. Access granted. And once you're in, you're going to hack one set of lasers. You do need hack level two. Access granted. I don't know if there's any way to pick up that code. Uh, beforehand. Okay, so while you're waiting for this guy to path over, you can steal everything in sight. And if you're wondering why he isn't pathing, it seems like he triggers when you walk somewhere around here. So I just went in and this is another one of my playthroughs where, instead of letting Zeke go, I uh, punched him in the face. I'm still using it to uh, demonstrate zero takedown for this portion, though. Granted. Once you've hacked the door, then you can go inside and you're like, oh man, I'm gonna sneak past this guy. I'm just, I'm just gonna sneak, just gonna sneak, gonna be a sneaky, gotta be sneaky, gotta be sneaky, uh oh. About time. Uh, you the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? <laughs> Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo. I would have preferred it if, um, the autopsy. He's all yours. The husband attached, maybe he walked away a few order. steps. Now, if I'll allow you to me, just totally pilfer it. To fix. But, uh, no, you have to talk to him. I guess unless somehow you've bought cloak beforehand, I don't know. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring so it So there's here. Ghost. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic. And I don't and want to risk connecting operator. any tech to our networks till he's done. So I'm going to make a discreet exit here. Just make sure that the one guard in this area is not anywhere nearby. And you waltz on through. Make sure the camera is not looking at you. And you're pretty much out. The only thing left to do on your way out is to make sure that you uh, reset things as they were. And you have ghosted the police station. But might I say, it was the 
unmanly way. Let us do the manly way now. Alright, so, yeah, don't need to wait for this guy. He just sits there and picks at his shoe. Just run past him. And, uh, go in there and go ahead and get that, uh, motherly ties quest underway. Find all the evidence, grab the bracelet that you'll never give back. Because, uh, in this playthrough, I'm being a complete asshole, so. I'm gonna hop up to the second floor, hack this door. We've seen this before. This was in the original walkthrough. Access granted. Ah, uh, but this time. This time we're not really using vents that much. So this is the second stealth alternative. I thought about doing one that had me coming from even the third floor, but I thought that was a bit... Or fourth floor, or whatever it is. I thought it was a bit overkill. Um, I think this is, this is enough. Pretend that there's someone there. No, um... Actually, over here we are going to use this vent because we want to head to that security office with the security camera and the armory and all that good, all that good stuff. That's going to be our approach. Which is essentially just down the hall. But you have to do a couple of things. So I go ahead and hop in here. I'm waiting for the guard to pass by the door. So, you know, while you're here, you might as well get all this stuff done. Read the ebook about uh, Hearts of Steel. Good lord. And don't forget the credit chip. Access granted. And, oh, look at that. I did not notice that before there was a stop warm up on the shelf. Cool. I and mean, I'm finding all kinds of little things like that, which is pretty sweet. All these little tiny things I didn't see before. I suppose I'm more observant now, but I think that's just a figment. So now we're in the uh, security office slash armory, so we're going to pop this open and hack the heck out of everything, open the doors, steal all kinds of stuff, you know the drill. Access granted. We're gonna close the door to cover our tracks, even though we just stole half the crap in there. Why not, right? Wait for this camera to pan, and you gotta watch because there is this one guard that paths down the hall, and he will uh, go stop over to my right, but let him pass. And the camera is thankfully quite slow, so you don't have to worry too much about it panning back and spotting you, but you can't just sit there forever. Fortunately, someone's put a nice big box in the way that allows you to uh, hide behind it in case you need to. Uh, but you didn't, I'm sitting like, well, I need a hiding spot, because I want to figure out, like, this is the first time I've done this. I'm looking around, I'm like, okay, where do I need to go? Oh, I need to go down here? Okay, that's cool. I think I cut out me looking at my map a little bit. Because <laughs> I, I was like, I don't know where I'm going. I, hell, I, I didn't even do this when I was uh, friendly with the guy. I don't think. Didn't really look around much, so. So here you need to wait for that guard to walk away. Um, you gotta be wa watch out because he is one of those guards that checks behind him periodically, so make sure to have that underway. And that's the front door, by the way. I just peeked at it to kind of give you your bearings. And thankfully, right in here, there's a vent in the bathroom. Tisk tisk. It literally took me like seven seconds to close that vent. I don't know why. I was clicking all over it. It just did not want to close. So I cut that out so you didn't have to see me fumble like Benny Hill. 
so here, this is actually really important. You want to cover your tracks, and you absolutely positively have to hug the crap out of this wall. This has to be your best friend. This wall, just caress it, you know, give it some nice TLC, promise it maybe some roses, and, uh, and a second date, because you will be spotted if you are not hugging this wall. Uh, those cops like to look up a lot, and you can see on the um, radar, there's one guy that's in particular looking at you quite a bit. There he is. He pops his head up. Yeah, you gotta watch out for him. There's also the guard patrolling that we passed by a little bit earlier. So, uh, definitely hug the wall the entire way. Make it your friend. You don't necessarily have to wait for this conversation to finish, but I don't think I'd ever listened to it before, so I decided I would sit here and do that. And once they're done talking, this guy will uh, help you out by turning his back to you and leaning up against the box because he's cool. Like little, little James Dean Lee, and there we go. Oh, yeah, what's up? All right, so that's your cue to go. And we are now on the morgue level right here. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. you got to wait for him to path away. You have to do this in chunks, uh, more or less because you have to, one, get close enough to where you can get around that camera. Two, there's a set of lasers in the way. I go in here just to launch the conversation, and I don't know, there's some Z fighting in this area. They never quite, they need to touch up those textures, but anyway, that's a, that's a minor detail. And also, it's worth it to come in here for the traveler bonus. on that John Doe they brought in earlier. Morgue's off limits until he's through. Again? Change. All right, so just go ahead and make your way back through the vent. I'm going to cut some footage of me trouncing through there. Okay, so this, you got to kind of wait for this guard to show up because you won't have him on your radar, or you probably won't have him on your radar when you come out because you've walked away so far. So, yeah, just keep your eye out for him. Wait for the camera to pan. Wait for him to pass by the door. And look at here, there's a nice big box for you to hide behind. And you wait for the guard to come out. And this, you gotta be careful. The camera, you gotta make sure, is not gonna be pointing at you. It's now currently moving away. So now it's time to make my move. You gotta ride his ass a little bit. And then here, you're gonna get very friendly with his wallet. Notice how he checks over to his right. So you need to be not in his field of vision at any time. The camera is panning back, by the way, but it shouldn't be able to see you. And then you just sneak behind him like that. And I think you have to make sure that you're out of the camera's field of vision by the time the door opens. But other than that, I think you're pretty good. Access granted. Yeah, about time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's There's done. There's ghost and smooth Especially operator. Especially the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. So there are a couple of ways out. You could take the sewer route, but the fact that you have to hack through the laser grid while the camera is active makes that something you'll probably have to burn whatever few nukes that you have in order to get through in time, so I actually prefer, and also kind of like the challenge, of leaving the same way I came. So here you have to wait for him, because he will, look how he's going to turn around. Uh, so he kind of turns around to check, so you need to hide here, wait for him to pass through the door, Make sure the camera's not looking at you, and make a run for it. You can just head right back up the stairs. Yep, 
Now at the top of the stairs, you're given the option to SWAT turn, which you did not have before on your way in. So that makes this pretty trivial. Also, that other guard's somewhere. I have no, no idea where he is. But same rule applies here. Uh, hug this wall as if it was your best friend. Your girlfriend, your lover, your mom. Whatever. And you do need to watch out for the patrolling cop. That's just now about to peek through the door, so I'm going to keep my eye on him. So you wait for this patrolling cop to come around and keep in mind that as he leaves like this, he will turn and check. You'll see it in a few seconds. He's going to check behind him. So you need to wait for him to do that before you make your break. And it's time to go. So here, just kind of skirt around the uh, center of the staircase. You know, line yourself up that way. If you go too far to the left, as you make your way up that staircase, you will get spotted. And so here I'm trying to get the bead on the two guys that are over to my right. I'm waiting to see if the one guy's gonna path. He takes forever. An extremely regrettable affair. There he goes. He finally starts to move. So, it is possible to just make your move right now, because he doesn't turn around, I don't think. And he will go off to the opposite end of that uh, long hallway and just stare out. But I decided to wait for him to come back just so I knew exactly where he was and for how long he would be there. Just to be on the safe side. You don't have to, though. Just turn the corner. You need to keep an eye on the camera. And as long as it's not looking at you, then you're good to go. And at this point, you're pretty much out. There's my pile of crap that I dropped from my inventory, because who needs ammo when you can pick up weapons and sell them? And I'm like, ooh, look at this. Even though I've already I hacked the laser good. system and disabled it, uh, that's a free hack. I'm to grab that XP. Might as well, right? This early in the game, you need every last point you can get. I gotta wait for this one guard to path away. And the final thing that can trip you up is, of course, this camera. So, no traces left. Good times all around. And that is the police station ghosted with Smooth Operator. If there are any other requests, please do post them on either of the forum threads on the main IDAS Deus Ex forums or the Steam Deus Ex forums if you post in the Zero Takedown thread. But other than that, I think the series is complete. And um, I hope you've enjoyed it in its entirety. I'm Grease Scotsman, and this has been Zero Takedown Ghost.